My horse has arthritis really bad in the winter, but in the summer it seems fine. Is that okay for me to ride, or, or is it okay for me to ride more? Right. Sorry. So you know what the first thing is I'm going to say? Get a diagnosis. <laughs> Get a diagnosis. I'm okay. noticing a trend for these videos today. Let's just make sure that what you're dealing with is arthritis and that get your vet's um, approval, permission, okay. Make sure they're on board with you, mm -hmm. they're on the same page. If they, they might have a reason why in your particular situation, maybe, I can't imagine, but maybe it's not appropriate. Yeah. Maybe, you know, movement's usually always good, not, not stall rest, but maybe riding is, is unsafe. So I would say use some common sense too. If, if there is a safety concern, then maybe just um, doing things on the ground with your horse mm -hmm. is all that's, like in the winter when your horse feels particularly bad, maybe that's all you can do. And then in the summer, Maybe that feels better enough to, to actually have you sit on them and go somewhere. Because they do, they do like to have a job. They do like to have you know? mentally keeps them yeah. engaged. Yeah. So go back, get the diagnosis, and then yeah. see kind of wh where your horse feels most comfortable and kind well, of listen to Well, and that's the thing. You're, you're getting ahead of me here. I had oh, the, another, another quote. Um, so one is, try something, and if the horse gets better, it's probably good for him. <laughs> Common sense. And then, um, ironically, in this age of science and imaging, the expression of the horse is still the best guide to providing care. So mm. the point is, listen to your horse. Mm -hmm. Let them tell you um, what you're doing, what you're asking me to do is too much, or I can do more, mom, um, or that. But like, like maybe walking over ground poles is too much. Yeah. You know, you think, oh, that's good exercise. It's stimulating to the mind, the body. But maybe that that ask to bend and to lift is too much. And maybe so they're sore the next day. That's them telling you. Uh, Let's not do that much. again. Yeah, but uh, you have to be creative, and so there's there's lunging, there's uh, long lining, what might be called ground driving, hmm. and there's patterns. There's an association. One of the Western Dressage Associations has uh, competitive patterns hmm. that you can use oh. for, for to be interesting. Change things up a little bit. Yeah. Um, of course, I'm a big fan of clicker training. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> um, I think you can do some groundwork with and without obstacles. Mm -hmm. That's always fun. Um, hand walking is good for both you and the pony. Um, but so, some tips are take the low impact. Mm -hmm. So jumping is probably out, um, barrel racing, um, anything with, with start, fast starts and, and fast stops and quick turns and those kind of things are, um, speaking from experience, can be, can be painful to join <laughs> some things. Um, take your time warming up and also warming down. And I, this is something I learned a long, long time ago with any age of horse. Tell me if you do this. I hand walk them before I get on. I would love to say that I do. How long? No, like not, from not the cross ties to the arena? No, no, <laughs> I don't. I don't walk a horse from cross ties to the arena and get on. I'll do like one lap each way and okay. then get on. I do a little bit because I don't like, I do take my time with the girth. I That's don't like right. to like, so yeah. a little bit like that. So like you do a lap and yeah. tighten the girth and do a lap. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and be regular and consistent. So, especially with these kind of horses, a little bit, 15, 20 minutes every day mm -hmm. is better than two hours on every every weekend, yeah. every Saturday. I that's, think we all kind of get into like that weekend week, warrior yeah, mode yeah, that's, because yeah, of that's jobs not good. and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, avoid long layoffs. It's really important to check saddle fit in the older horse because their top line can go quickly mm -hmm. and then your saddle needs adjusted. Um, make sure that the, the hooves are in good shape. So some people, when their horse is retired and they maybe they pull shoes mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna have his feet down like every three months. No, they probably need hoof care more, more often. Well, the thing is, as, as we've spoken about before, if you know the feet aren't landing correctly, it throws off how they move and how their joints are working mm -hmm. and all that. So it just kind of mm -hmm. like is a ripple up effect mm -hmm. from there. And um, back to the veterinarian, the thing we didn't mention is your vet may when he or she is guiding you, and yes, you can exercise, and or no, you can't ride, or whatever, they're also going to design a, a program for you that involves movement, maybe some prescription medications, mm -hmm. and then they're going to pair that with a joint supplement. Mm -hmm. Which, if your horse is retiring from competition, the joint supplement might change. Mm -hmm. um, there might be things that you couldn't include in there, like herbs or whatever, um, when you were showing, but now you have access to them. It doesn't it doesn't matter, but. Um, it, it can be fun because you, you look at your joint supplements and there's the traditional ingredients yep, like, like the glucosamines and the chondroitin sulfates and that. And, and there's some newer ones now. Um, I think we have one. There's a resveratrol, 
um, yes. turmeric, turmeric is trending, uh, collagen. So, you know, you can play around a little bit with, um, see what your horse does better on. And, you know, horses are individuals like people they're going to respond better to some and not others. We don't all respond to the same thing the same way. And what's cool about some of those ingredients that you mentioned is not only specifically good for like joint health, it's mm -hmm. they can be good for overall health That's right. in general. That's so right, yep. yep. More bang for your buck. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah so.